Hi, I'm Brooklyn Mooseman. And I'm Rachel Luck. And we are Bellevue, Bellevue West. West. I choose you! Charizard, I choose you! I sit here in my Pokemon shirt and my muscles and act as if I don't have a care in the world. I am calm, cool, and collected, and all I have to worry about are girls' food and sports. I mean, everybody can see that my emotions are in perfect order, like Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. Well, the fact is that my emotions are like ashes, Charizard, and I can barely control them because I don't know how I should feel. Truth is, my inner flame is being blasted with hydro pump and is slowly dwindling down. I want to be the very best that no one ever was. I am sick of this world. Surrender now or prepare to fight. I am taught to be tough, emotionless, and nothing else. To catch them is my real test. To train them is my cause. I'm expected to fight on command like a gym trainer's Pokemon. Win or lose for him. And by the end of the day, we're supposed to be best friends again. Like I didn't just get my backside handed to me on a silver platter. But we're supposed to act how they see fit, not how I want to. So we're forced to fight. It's you and me. They want me to become Mega Blaziken. I know it's my destiny. At the drop of a hat and use Blaze Kick on Leafeon. Oh, you're my best friend. Even though Leafeon already has next to no chance. But since Leafeon is considered a little weakling, it must learn to toughen up since weakness isn't allowed in any form. Each Pokemon to understand the power that's inside. I am not honest with happy spirits as hard as rocks. They can't be penetrated or broken. But even Diglett can dig through the hardest of boulders and I am just pink soft flesh. I prefer rock hard defense and determination. So they can effortlessly tunnel through my emotions like air just glides through water and demolish and destroy every last one of my once joyful spirits. Well, I can always heal you at the Pokemon Center. So I bottle up my emotions into a Pokeball, load them to sleep like Jigglypuff and never let them wake from their deep slumber like Snorlax. So sooner or later, someone's words will hit you like righteous thundershock and poisonous emotions will zap you awake so it means your sanity in every direction. Yet, because we're men, we must not show any emotion. We can't let anyone get a glimpse of our Pokeballs that flashes red, showing how hurt we truly are. Pokemon, oh, it's so true. Since no one sees the flashing, no one seems to grasp that the constant battle is making it unbearably hard for me to keep any sort of flame burning. It's starting to appear like a Milouette never to be seen again. Our courage will pull us through. I'm supposed to fight, eat, and laugh, and act like everything's going perfect. Even though nothing's going right. I can't just set my emotions on fire, expect them to turn to ash and blow away in the wind, and I don't see a beautify standing by my side waiting to take them off into the sunset. I can't get rid of my emotions. They are glued to me like Pikachu is to ash. Uh, all right. <laughs> so I put on a mask and act as happy as Snorlax after he ate a whole jungle of peaches. And I keep on fighting like it's my favorite thing to do because society is my trainer. And I'm supposed to be its version of manly. I am supposed to be a Pokemon. Pokemon!